It's true, gift bags aren't just for gift wrapping. Hey bestie, this is Lisa. Welcome or welcome back. If you want to craft your best life with me, let's get started right now. For this gift bag hack, I've got this gorgeous floral gift bag, and then I've got this cathedral window, and then this little plaque from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take that piece off the top, use my heat tool to get off the glue that's on there, and my little scraper tool. There you go. Now I'm going to cut the bag big enough to cover this little wood plaque. I'm going to use some Mod Podge, just spread it on there. I'll do it in sections, and then apply the piece of the gift bag. I will use my brayer to make sure that it is adhered perfectly to the surface, and then I'll do the rest. Now I'm just going to trim off the excess. I'm also going to go in a little bit deeper with a sanding sponge and go around the sides and make sure that it's a nice clean edge. Now that that's complete and you can see the beautiful edges, I'm going to place the cathedral window on top and see exactly where I need to add the glue on the back side. So I'm just going to take the hot glue, put it on those spots that I know are going to make really good contact with the little plaque. Now once the glue is on there, I'm just going to place it face down on the back. And I love this because what you see through is the beautiful florals from the gift bag. Now I'm going to take some greenery. I'm just going to make like a little swag and put two pieces, you know, one on each side. And then I'm going to add some little leaves in the middle just to cover up those stems. And the last thing I do is just take this beautiful flower. It was from a pick from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to glue down the little leaf part first and then put the flower right in the middle. This turned out so beautiful, so easy, and it already has a hanger on the back. So that sure does make this easy to deal with. I love this one. You'll have to let me know what you think. It might be my favorite from today. And let me know if it's yours too. For this Dollar Tree gift bag hack, I've got another beautiful floral gift bag, and then I've got this truck sign that was from the fall. I'm just going to sand off the glitter and any spots that were a little rough. I'm going to take my agave chalk paint from Waverly and also my ink chalk paint from Waverly. I'm going to paint the body of the truck with the agave. I'm going to paint the wheels in the black, and then I'm going to take this Amy Howard One Step Paint. It's like an off-white color, and I'm just going to do the bumper first in the white, and around the edges and then I'm going to take after that a silver folk art paint to make it look like it's the chrome you know on a regular bumper. If I had just done it over the agave it wouldn't show as silvery and I wanted to make sure it did. I've got a jot marker from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to kind of outline the parts of the truck to give it a little more definition. And if you're not sure how to do this, you can always look at a picture. You can find them easily on Pinterest or online, and you can see how to draw those lines. That's how I learned how to do it. I'm not really a car person, so I wouldn't have known otherwise. So I'm just going to continue to do that until I get a nice shape and kind of dimension of the body of the truck. And this is from the back side because it's like the bed of the truck that it's, we're looking at here. Now I'm going to take the gift bag and I'm going to cut out a piece that has, you know, some of the florals that I want. And then I'm going to kind of fussy cut out some of the flowers, just different colors the way I like them. You can do this any way that you want. And I started off using a glue stick that wasn't really the best choice on this one. So you'll see I end up adding in some Mod Podge. And then I use my brayer to flatten that. And there's that Mod Podge. I had ends popping up and I just decided going forward I would just use Mod Podge. 
And then I'm gonna cut some more flowers and add them on so it looks like the truck has a bunch of fresh flowers in the bed. And I'll just dry that with my heat tool. I'm going to spray the surface with my matte finish clear glaze, and then I'm gonna add a beautiful pink hanger. I've got my greenery from Amazon that I get. It's always in my Amazon store if you would like to get it too. Let me know what you think. It's so fresh and spring-like, just makes me happy. And I love that agave. It's probably my favorite Waverly chalk paint color that they have. And I'm just gonna create like a swag on the bottom, and then I'm just gonna add some leaves in the middle to cover those little stems, which is something I often do. And I think this one turned out so beautiful. It was really easy too. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. For this Dollar Tree gift bag hack, I've got a gift bag, I've got a wood round that was from the fall, and I'm just going to start cutting out the words on this gift bag. As it turned out, the two larger words, together and loved, would not fit on this round, so I end up doing something different. I'm only going to use the words in the center, which is they built a life they. So you'll see I'm going to cut each of these words out individually as tight as I can, you know, to the edges of the words. Next, I'm just gonna use my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint, and I'm gonna do two coats on the front of this wood round. Then I'm gonna take a furniture marker, it just happens to be like black, and I'm gonna write in cursive, together and loved. Now, this is not perfect, I don't do calligraphy, I kinda wanted it to look more natural, so if you think it's a little messy, that's actually my intention here. If you're really good at that, then obviously by all means, go ahead and do that in a much more you know, precise manner. I just wanted it to be very casual and I will dry that ink with my heat tool. Next thing, I'm gonna place the words individually on there where I want them to go. And once I've decided where they're gonna go, I am gonna use some Mod Podge and put it on the back of each of the words and then put it down on the wood round. And when I'm all done, I roll the brayer over it just to try to flatten it. You do see the edges around the words, but I don't think it's distracting. I'm just gonna take a piece of wood, which is sort of like a flat edge, and I'm gonna draw some lines with a pencil and it's gonna look like kind of shiplap or plank. And I'm just gonna slightly wet my finger and rub over that pencil and that makes it look a little bit more realistic. It also creates a bit of a distress effect. Once that's done, I'm gonna take some steel Waverly chalk paint and I'm gonna rub most of it off of the brush and then put it around the edges and kind of lightly over the top, just a dry brush effect. And I just want it to look a little bit more, you know, worn and, you know, distressed. If you are enjoying this video, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already, like it, share it, and leave me a comment. Thank you. Next, I'm gonna use some of this greenery from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna make a little swag on the top and off camera, because I forgot to film it, I also added the lavender and a black hanger. I love how this turned out. It's really cute and it has that really nice kind of antique look to it. Let me know what you think. For this Dollar Tree gift bag hack, I've got this gorgeous gift bag. They had so many beautiful ones. And this MDF home sign with a heart at the end. I'm just gonna cut out a piece big enough to go over the top of the home sign. We're gonna use some Mod Podge, and I'm just gonna lay it over the entire top of this piece of wood. And then I'm gonna place that piece of the gift bag over the top, roll it with my brayer to secure it. And what I probably should have done first was paint the other edges and the back, but oh well, I thought about it afterwards. So I'm gonna trim off some of the edges, then I'm gonna use that Amy Howard off-white paint, and I'm just gonna paint the back, the sides, and those inside pieces, because I want this to look more finished. I'm not fond of the MDF you know, coloring, I'm sure most of us aren't. So there I go, I'm just gonna paint the whole thing. 
So there it is, all dry. And now what I need to do is cut off the excess of the gift bag. I'm just gonna use like an X-Acto knife blade and go all the way around. Now I've got the holes to deal with. So the easiest way to do that is just to kind of poke from the front very carefully and use that X-Acto knife and just cut inside of them. And that works out the very best. Do that to each of the holes. Now to get rid of any of the rough edges, I'm just gonna take a little nail file and go around all of the outside and the inside of the holes. And then I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and put it all over the top and inside the edges and that helps anything that's kind of rough, you know, lay down. And I know this is a busy pattern so you can't read the word as easily, but I just thought it was so pretty. So I decided to take this piece of fern from Walmart, cut it off, you know, from the larger piece that it is and glue the home sign right on top of it and i just thought that was pretty to add some greenery this is totally optional you don't have to do this you could use any color gift bag you want if you want to be able to read the word a little better i just kind of like it and i think it would look pretty hanging in the inside of a wreath even or even just by itself you know it's totally your own personal taste there's no right or wrong way to do this I know sometimes people say, I wouldn't do that or I would do this, and that's great. This is simply for inspiration. I want you to do things the way you want to do them. This is just to help you get there. Ready for more inspiration? Here's another video I think you'll really like. If you click on it, I will see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.